who were hired to heal. Now four former workers at St. Elizabeth's are charged with abusing a patient. These four people, Alyssa Klein, Sandra Noby, Ashley Flower, and Gary Ray, all charged with felonies now, knowingly abusing or neglecting an adult. The indictment just out today says this happened back in 2015, but 9 on your side's Jake Ryle is digging deeper into this for us tonight. I spoke with a local attorney who says these cases might actually happen more often than you think, and she says it's important to know what your rights are. And that's not really something you think about when you're trying to decide where do I need to go to get this medical care that I need right away. Attorney Delena Sanders is no stranger to dealing with medical negligence cases. We have litigated against St. Elizabeth and other hospitals numerous, numerous times. She says those types of incidents happen more often than you think at hospitals in general. It's only until you are a victim or someone you love is a victim that you realize that negligence can happen, that these things do happen and that they can be very harmful. The indictment says three employees restrained a patient using a therapy bag. A fourth employee, the acting caregiver, did nothing to stop the incident. I think that filing a lawsuit is sometimes intimidating, uh, but it's sometimes necessary. Sanders tells me knowing patients' rights is important. It's the only way to hold some facilities which seem to be very large and very powerful, accountable for the injuries and the damages that they cause. Sometimes it's the only way. Now it is important to note St. Elizabeth is not being charged in the indictment, only those four employees. And we've asked for a copy of that indictment. As soon as we have that, we'll be sure to post it on WCPO.com. For now, reporting in Edgewood, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side. Jake, thank you. St. Elizabeth tells us it stopped all four suspects from taking care of patients as soon as it heard about the allegations. The hospital went on to say it demands the highest standards from its patient caregivers and fully respects the rights and dignity of its patients. Shut